Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Garrett Armfield versus Brady Heinstead. Interesting matchup. It's going to be a lot of action. A lot of action. A lot of chaos. Garrett Armfield 10-3, and 4-1 and one, his last five fights. Robbed Brad Gatona in his last one. Garrett, uh, Brady Heinstead is 7-2. and two. Comeback victory in his last one against Donna Batgarel. I did not like that stoppage. He had a beating before he won by stoppage. And then as soon as he had uh, Donna uh, in, in trouble, the referee stopped it. It was a very, very weird thing going on. Tired? Sure he was, but he shouldn't have stopped it. 10-3, 7-2, one, uh, minus 170, plus 140 for Highstead, 27-25 to 25 years old, 5'6 to 5'8, 70 to 71 inch reach, 2 inches in height, 1 inch in reach for Brady. The, the, the biggest difference for me is just the defense for G uh, Garrett Armfield. Brady, I think, could do a lot of good things because he's cardio, he has good cardio, he's very durable, he has a, has a lot of output, and he pushes the pace. The issue with that is... When you fight somebody like Armfield, who's had pretty good experience, fought good guys, does get hit, but his his defense is still better. He doesn't get hit as much. He doesn't get weary on his feet as much. He doesn't get dropped as much. Brady just has his sons to brawl, but get, sometimes get reckless in those brawls. Again, he's very durable, can stay in a fight for sure. Armfield has power, so he definitely could finish Highstead. Heistead's going to beat him with volume, and the longer the fight goes, the more it goes in Brady's favor, um, but I, I just think Brady take, makes too many mistakes in this matchup. Now, again, about the opponent's thing, you look at it, and Brady Heistead has five finishes out of seven wins, been finished one time in his career by Chet and Halinger. that's a bad matchup for him for sure. Fighting Garrett Armfield, like I said, 10 and 3, 27, two fight winning streak. He has eight finishes, five first round KOs. You know, two submission wins, two submission losses, two and one in the UFC. Fought David Onama twice. It's not bad losses at all. Again, robbed uh, Brad Katona in that one. I have uh, Garrett Armfield winning this matchup. I just think he's a little bit better in certain areas. I would be surprised if Brady's making it close. Gary gets a big knockdown in a couple of the rounds, and that's how he wins the fight. As always, subscribe, like, comment, and let me know what you guys think. Peace.